Hello my friends, uh, in this section we are going to make this landing page where all the videos that user uploaded are displayed. So if we first see the step of how to make the landing page, so first we are going to make empty landing page. So this is the landing page itself and then we are going to make the UI for video card. This one UI for video card, this one is the video card and then we are going to fetch all video data from MongoDB to client. So we come in here, so when we just upload the videos, all of the information about videos the saved in MongoDB, so we will fetch all of this data into the client, and then we will just populate those data on our screen. So this is all we are going to do. But first, by going to our text editor in here, first we are going to make that landing page. We come in here, landing page, and then I'm going to first uh, run our application by typing npm run dev. So now it is our landing page. So first I'm going to delete all of the parts because we are not going to use this one. And then I'm going to make the deep wrapper and then save it if we come in here now we delete all of the things so nothing is in here and we need to make this page like this one so first we are going to make this recommended part style with 85% and margin 3 rem and alt and for this text styling I'm going to use the and to design again so i'm going to bring the card and avatar and call and typography and row from and d and we need to const title and typography and we put this one in here and we will give the label to for this one, recommended. So we, we come in here. We have this text, and then we will. We need to have this line, so we will give the hr. So we have this one, this line here, and then we want to make. First, we want to make this one card. After making one card, we can just uh, multiply this one by using the map method so first we are going to make this one card so in here style position relative and we need to have image this one style with 100% and we will have the src and then we need to have this duration we will give the class name duration and span this minutes and the second minutes second and then we need to have this part so in here we are going to use the anti design again so we will bring the meta from car so we will put the meta in here we can put avatar avatar from the anti design src avatar is this image title so we made this whole part right now and we need to have this part and span um, video uh, writer name and then span we see here the views count and uh, so where we posted this video style margin left 3 rem views count and Spend again and date. So I'm going to save it and then we go to our application. So we have it like this. Even though it's really weird because we didn't put any of data in here. So now we have one card template. So we are going to fetch all of the data from the MongoDB. To do that, we need to use the React Cook here. Use effect and we are going to delete this part and this part so we need to get use effect from the react so in here we will use the axios to do that we need to import the axios first from axios axios we need to get request the location will be api the video and get videos 
and then response from the backend so if response and data and success so we will do something else we will say fail to get videos so we are going to save it and then we will make this route uh, inside our server so we go to video Rouse in server so in here we need to make it again but i copy this one and paste it and but we need to have the get request and then uh, for this one get videos so we will put the get videos in here and now i need to use this the video instance so i need to delete this one so i got the video model and then find this this means i will find all of the data inside of video collection in here all of the data in the video collection I brought it by using this one and then I will populate it the so if I see in here writers information is just the ID of that writer but I want to have all of the information about writer it can be writer's name a writer's image or any other things about writer so how can I do that when I want to do that, I can use the populate and then I will just say writer. So after this, I will do execute so I can also get error or the videos information comes from the MongoDB. So if I got error, return response and status 400 and send error. Or it was successful, a response and status in 200 and JSON data, and we say success true. And then we will send the videos information we got from the MongoDB. So we go back to our landing page in here, so we will see what kind of information we will get response and data. So I come in here, I will, yeah, I opened the console panel and then I'm going to refresh the page if we see in here we got the seven videos because I uploaded seven videos if I click the first one so I got all of the data about this video categories and description and duration now we are going to populate all of the data in here so we come back in landing page in here it's a uh, videos and then first i will make the state so i will put all of the videos data inside the state so to do that i will do use state and then videos i will put set videos in here this one will be array because we have a lot of object we will wrap them with the array so we will have a array initial state and we just put the use state in here and then we get all of the videos inside the videos state and then save it so I'm going to use this video state that has all of the videos information but we need to have uh, many videos so that's why I, I'm going to make one variable so I'm going to just uh, delete this one and put it in here temporarily and then in here I will say render cards and then I put this one in here const render card and then I put I bring this video state in here and I will use the map method so we got only one video object and then we will have the index and we will just return and we put this one we made for the one card in here the source is the http local host 5000 video and some nail to spread this information we will see the thumbnail so video thumbnail 
So video and thumbnail. I brought this one. We need to have the avatar source. That's a video and writer. So video writer and then image. So writer image. And we also need to have the title. Title will be video title. And then writer's name will be video writer name and view count is video and views and for a day we are going to use this the moment.js library so to use this one we are going to do npm install moment and save save and save so we are going to copy this one and then turn it on and first turn off the server a ton of ton of the application i'm going to paste it npm install moment save to download this dependency and download it and then i'm going to run our application again npm run dev so in here first we we need to import the moment we just download it moment in here and then we're going to use the moment library in here so moment and we will put the video and create it at we got from here created at we can just put this value in here but it's not that pretty so that's why we are changing the format of this date to change the format we say the format three capital m and d o n y y if you want to know about this you can just check out the moment.js documentation so i'm going to just delete part at first i'm going to save it i'm going back to our application so you can see here so minute uh, image and minute second and the avatar and and videos the title and writer's name view counts and then create date uh, we didn't have this image inside our node server that's why we have this image error and then we need to change this minute and second to do that i'm going to set two variable one is the minutes and the second one is the seconds for minutes we will use mass and floor and video and duration and so if we see the video duration it is just a second but we also have the decimal but it doesn't look good so that's why we need to change this one into prettier format so we are going to divide this the video duration which is a second uh, by the 60 and then and we will get the minutes of this duration and then we will also do mass and floor uh, we will do video and duration and minus minute and then multiply 60 so we put this minute in here and we will put this seconds in here and we need to have art in here some nail so i'm going to save it again so if we see here now we got the right format of the duration now we need to make this one like this we will have two rows and we will have four columns in one row to do that we're going to use the anti design again so we will wrap this render card uh, by the row comes from the end design and then we will change this div into call replace this with call again and in here when we have a large size screen we will have a six and i'm going to explain it later and medium size window we will have just eight and extra small sized windows that we will have 24. so if i say this one is the size six size and eight size and 24 size one row consists of 24 size so when we have the extra small window like this that this will become the 24 so that's why we will have only one card so now we have uh, four columns in one row 
And first, I'm going to make one post to see the, how it looked like. So I'm going to video and upload. And come in here, and I'm going to just uh, yeah upload one video and title space and hello and public and any category and submit. Come in here, so you can see. So we got this one. Uh, still the uh, looks not that pretty at least we can know that we are doing right so first so I'm going to a little bit more of styling for this part so I'm going to put the BR in here and in here so I come back in here so I got the better format than before and I'm going to the move this one into here like this one so to do that we're going to change this part we actually need to do a lot of styling for that one so first we will say the bottom zero and the right zero because it will be so this position is the relative so if we say bottom zero and it will be just in here and the right zero it will be in here then so bottom zero and right zero and position absolute and margin 4 p 4 pm first i'm going to let you see what is going on now can you see like yeah you can see this number number got inside of this the image right now so we are going to keep changing this one color will be FFF which is the white and then the background color will be and then opacity will be this and then and padding will be 2px for the up and down and 4px per right and left and border radius will be 2px and letter spacing 1.5px and font size will be 12px it will be really long right and font rate will be 500 and lastly line height will be 12 px i'm going to save it so can you see it looks way better right now this is all for this section this section was uh, longer than i thought i thought i'm going to make this page really quickly but i couldn't i'm sorry about that so thank you for watching this video and see you in our next video thank you